Oh, g'day everybody, where's Wally here? Hey, I saw a tweet by Paul Byrne who shared this NASA image. It was taken by the Lucy spacecraft as it was approaching Earth for a gravity assist. Now, Lucy was about 1.4 million kilometers away from the Earth at the time. The detail is a little lacking, but you can easily see the Earth and make out the South Pole. So I did just what anyone would do, and I went hunting for the Discover Epic camera image that matches. The Discover had a few taken that day, and one taken by Lucy shows the distinctive clouds and Africa. And it was not that hard to find. Now ain't that pretty? Thanks, Epic Camera. But wait, why is the Earth rotated anti-clockwise in this Lucy image? Isn't Antarctica meant to be at the bottom, so to speak? So look, I bet someone at NASA or wherever has cropped and rotated the image and put the moon level with the Earth, just to please our human brains. So what is the correct orientation to line up with the epic image? Well, if we look at the Nautical Almanac for the Moon's GP at 1 p.m. on the 13th of October, UGC, we see that the GP was about 22.75 degrees north latitude. So let's rotate the whole loose image by almost 23 degrees clockwise. Oh, there we go. The image lines up nicely now. Just as well Flat Earthers didn't see that, they might have been more confused. Oh no, I see another thing that Flatties might think doesn't look right. Now, doesn't the GLOBE model say that the radius of the Earth is 3.666 times that of the Moon? So let's count some pixels, and oh dear, it's 5.2 times. That's not even close. And while we're at it counting those pixels, doesn't the model say that the Moon is supposed to be 39,866 kilometers away on that day? Making it 30.9 Earth diameters away, and we can measure the distance, and it's only 17.7 Earth diameters away. Okay, so the moon is too small and the moon is too close. Or is it? Now the almanac tells us what's going on here. We know that the image was taken on the 13th of October. We also know that the full moon was on the 10th of October, just a few days earlier. Now had Lucy had taken this image on the 10th, the moon and the earth would have been right beside each other because Lucy had the sun at its back. And we know that it has the sun at its back because we're seeing the full disk of the earth and the moon. So let's look where the moon was at the time Lucy took this snap. I went and found moon calc and tried to find the GP of the moon right about then. So it was over the Western Pacific Ocean on the night side of the globe. So, you know, left and back a little bit from Lucy's perspective. So when you have a proper look at the alignment and look at the angles, and you can tell a lot from the angle, you can see that, well, the moon should indeed appear closer to the Earth. And because it is further away, it should also appear smaller comparatively. Well, I hope the Euclidean nature of this loose image isn't lost on those who love to worship Euclid. And while we are watching the full moon and the lovely lunar eclipse a few days ago, I noticed something really cool on the ISS video feed. The ISS was passing over the USA at midnight, and the near full moon was reflecting so much light down onto the clouds that the ISS was able to see the clouds by moonlight. And even better, the underside of the ISS was illuminated by earthshine. Sorry, moonshine. I'm sorry, by moon earth shine. Yeah, I think that's what was going on. So I grabbed these images from a channel that loves to stream the ISS. Now I'd highly recommend everyone subscribe to him. That way you'll have the link to his latest videos in your notification list. And if you see something interesting on the ISS feed, you might be lucky enough to be able to find the live feed and go back and have a quick look at it. APAS is the name of the channel and I highly recommend jumping on that one and getting a subscription. And as I'm taking so long to put this video out because things like Artemis are happening, I also saw a similar image from the Orion as it was looking back at Earth. And once more, to the epic camera I go and voila, the same nice validated image. And with Africa once more at the center. Why Africa? Can't we have a snap of Australia please, NASA?